Uh, so today we're going to talk about Boyle's anesthetic machine. This is only for student practice purpose. Um, first thing that we need to check is to for is to have our emergency equipment in the room. So we must have a different plate in the house. Excuse the old one. And we will be back. And uh, we also have oxygen cylinder at the back of the machine. Uh, then after that, uh, we must go for oxygen supply itself. Make sure that uh, the oxygen pipeline, which is white, is connected to the right uh, port in the wall, um, which is uh, which is corresponding color basically. And we must also perform a tech test. Make sure that it's, it's, it is well connected. And uh, after that, make sure that the barometer is at four bar, which is 400 kilopascals. Then we go for oxygen cylinder. Open it. Listen for leaks. And also make sure that the gauge is at uh, at 50 bar. Then we don't forget to close uh, the, the the cylinder itself. Then you go for uh, for the rotometer itself, oxygen rotometer. You open it to 10. Then after that, take it down. Make sure that the, the dial is working uh, with our machine. Unfortunately, the oxygen is not, the nitro oxide is is not working. You open it up. Then oxygen must rise. Then at the same time, after that, then you reduce the oxygen. Then uh, the nitro oxide must go down as well. That is hypoxic cut. And also go for patient circuit. Make sure that all the components are present with the APL valve, as you can see, with the uh, reservoir back. Then on the reservoir back and the pipeline, sorry, and also on the reservoir back. So there are no tears on the reservoir back. Then I'm going to close the APL valve. Then after closing, I will close to the patient end of the circle. Then I also open the uh, emergency oxygen bypass valve and uh, make sure it reads at 30 centimeters of water and also the reservoir bag must fill. Then I can wait for 10 seconds and make sure that there's no leakage at all. Then I can move to my vaporizer, which is isofluorine bottle, corresponding to the container, which we're doing good. Then make sure that there's a clear fluid on the window and uh, the fluid must be between two lines and uh, the filling port must be closed and the dial must be locked at off position and open, make it a full range, close it again, make sure it's off. Uh, then after that, I can also take it to one and also repeat, a, 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 a repeat the second leak test and make sure that uh, there's no leakage. Uh, sometimes you don't need to do this, but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much what is needed to be done. And uh, at the same time, keep the, your hand on the patient end of the second. So now, since we're just finishing uh, with the oxygen uh, circuit, so now we go into our equipments. Uh, as we know, we have six metals and six plastics. Um, so let's start with our plastics. Uh, we have a sterile second tube. Um, then we have a uh, Giddell's Away. Then we have uh, our uh, LMA, we've got the endotracheal tube available. We also have a securing tape, syringe, we also have arm connector mask, and also a mount catheter with HME uh, filter. Um, then after that, we must go to our plates, make sure we have two blades with uh, two handles, and make sure that they both work. Unfortunately, uh, this ones don't work here, uh, but it's fine. Then we also have Mugel's uh, forcept. We've got the uh, introducer. We've got uh, artery forcept. We've got Caesar available. Uh, then, uh, then after that, we must always make sure that our ventilator is working. As you can see, this is the old one, but just it's just for Oski purpose. Yeah. Thank you very much to Buzz.